Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, aka Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4. The new entry in the Tenkaichi series that has been recently announced, developed by them boys Spike Chunsoft for next generation consoles. And let me tell you right now, this game will break records. No kizzy, no cap. Y'all boys gonna think that Bandai Namco got the infinite money glitch turned on when this game dropped. This is probably the most anticipated Dragon Ball game entry in the world, realistically, based upon the legacy, based upon the sauce that the name Tenkaichi has laid down in history. Now, let me tell you personally how I know the ceiling, the potential of the Tenkaichi games. I know the potential because this was my childhood. I lived in that era where the Tenkaichi games was dropping and them joints was certified bangers. I mean, I remember getting the first Tenkaichi game for Christmas one year. I opened, I was like, bro, this is next level. The 3D Dragon Ball Z fights, you were immersed in the Dragon Ball world and you got to experience the story. Then I remember the game that changed everything, where they refined everything and came harder with that motherfucking fire style. They came harder with that motherfucking heat. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, my boy. That joint didn't become a PS2 greatest hit for no reason. That game, I recommended. I remember my cousin's mom, my aunt asked me, yo, what should I get your cousin for Christmas? I listed that game. That game became a cookout certified classic staple over a summer that joint was nuts so and i played that game just reenacting different battles that i knew within the dragon ball series uh and it just made me feel like i could create my own storylines and just create my own scenarios that i thought would be funny to see play out and each character had like opening lines and stuff like that bring back uh when characters talk to each other before the fight i think that's like a really cool uh, thing that fighting games kind of forget about nowadays but I played this game like crazy I was a beast in that joint too I was lining people up at them cookouts I was boxing you know what I'm saying and I was training my little cousins to play Tenkaichi so the fact that the developers in an interview where they didn't release too much information but they did say that this game will have the soul of Tenkaichi and they are really trying to push the boundaries of really immersing the player within the Dragon Ball world. They want you to feel like they brought the Dragon Ball world to life with unprecedented intensity, unprecedented realism to the series per se. So the game is running on the Unreal Engine 5. I think that's the latest Unreal Engine. So that joint looks saucy. I mean, the announcement trailer, that shit went crazy. That shit broke the internet for real at the uh, Game Awards or whatever they released it. But I mean, dude, like this game has been revealed to have been in development for five years. So them boys been in the kitchen cooking. And just while we was talking about stop releasing Xenoverse 2 DLC, the, them boys was in the back with the wok, with the fried rice. Mm, 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 mm. Imagine them. You know that mean what they do cooking with the wok and the rice flying everywhere. Them boys had... The Chef Boyardee hat on in there cooking for the next generation to enjoy such a series that's near and dear to my heart. So let me just get back to why this joint going to break records. Like I said, they are really going to take the soul of Tenkaichi and imbue it within this new iteration. So Tenkaichi games, it's a recipe for success. Success leaves clues. So they know that all the shit that worked for Tenkaichi people gonna eat that shit up you know what i'm saying but it's going to have a whole new generation of players who have never touched the tenkaichi game because those games are older now there's a lot more gamers nowadays and we have the new audience on the next generation console the technological advancements they have in this game just make the game seem more appealing like anybody who's seen the gameplay trailer they're gonna be like yo if there was a midnight release i'd be there you know what i'm saying let me go ahead pre-order this joint let me wish list this joint do whatever i gotta do so this game is going to incorporate 
the Dragon Ball Super storyline. We've seen a whole bunch of Dragon Ball Super characters. We've seen that boy Jiren. We've seen Dragon Ball Super Broly out there, bit. We've seen some of the little Tournament of Power characters. Yo, them boys finna be boxing. This is really like the first Dragon Ball game, 3D Dragon Ball game, to where they really properly gonna do the Super characters. And I, I feel like it's only time for them. It's about time. It's been time for them to really, you know, go ten toes on the Dragon Ball Super storyline because. Fuck the Dragon Ball storyline. Fuck the Dragon Ball Z storyline. Fuck GT. At this point, give me Super. You know what I'm saying? Put that as the main like point story within the game. You can have it as some side shit to replay some of the older stories if you want to. But bro, I don't already play. How many times y'all gonna make me fight Raditz? How many times? If you still want the Dragon Ball Z storyline in this game, you are sick. You are sick. And some of y'all might be like, damn, I'm sick then. Yeah, you're fucking sick, boy. Stop. Click off this video right now, Loki, if you don't want if you want the Dragon Ball storyline to be like a main thing in this game, yo, get off, get off the video right now. You're part of the problem. We need to focus on the new characters, the new story. Ultra Instant Goku, my boy. The tournament of power in that motherfucker, boy. That shit finna be nuts. Oh my goodness. Yo, that joint finna be nuts. Just you got me think about this shit right now. And next, we're going to have the potential for DLC. It's going to be nuts. This game can live forever. This can be the basis for, you know, the new Tenkaichi uh, characters that we need added to the game as the story unfolds. You know, Dragon Ball Super kind of getting through uh, the Cell Max arc, uh, the, the little movie arc with Cell Max Beast Gohan. Bro, Beast Gohan in the Unreal 5 engine? Huh? Orange Piccolo even? I mean... Orange Piccolo, I can't really even say that. Orange Piccolo kind of just Orange Piccolo. But, dude, there's a new ceiling for the Tenkaichi games. You know what I'm saying? It is literally a game that they have been spending the last five years crafting carefully. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make sure that this joint is, is automatic cop. I don't even care. I'm going to just support Chun, Spike Chunsoft, whatever. I think they had a merger with the development companies or something like that. But... Uh, it was, you know, I remember seeing a spike on the screen back in the day and stuff like that when I was playing those Dragon Ball games. But, you know, the intro to the Tenkaichi games, legendary. The little mini games, legendary. You know what I'm saying? The damn split screen when you was playing with your cousin or whatever, legendary. The transformations in game that was just crazy, legendary, my boy. I don't care about the character customization, that whole universe. I don't care about making my own characters. I'm trying to utilize the, the legendary characters that dragon ball has established and i'm trying to box what is so like hard about what is so hard about that concept i don't care about the creative character it's a, it's a gimmick i don't care bro just put give me the game give me future trunks and i'm taking your lunch money boy i'm slicing you up freezer style i'm turning you into a sushi roll boy and i'm burning attack bah! I'm sending you to the shadow room, my boy. So, like I said, going back to the main point, this game is an infinite money glitch. Go ahead, type in the controls for the infinite money glitch in the back in the background. It's gonna break records because it's word of mouth, it's nostalgia, it's new heights with technology, new story. Perfect time for this joint to come out. They had the Dragon Ball Super uh superhero movie. That joint was a banger. They had all the new content there's just so much content for them to really cook with that it's an it, it can't miss this game is destined for greatness so let me know what you guys think down in that comment section below if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button now because we're going to be going crazy when that dragon ball sparking zero drops day one we're going nuts bro so make sure you subscribe and make sure you tuned in like the video if you enjoy it and drop down below why you think sparking zero will break records or why if you're a hater why won't Spark and Zero break records? If you think that joint gonna be mid, you know what I'm saying? Go play Xenoverse 2 again. You know what I mean? But it's been your boy Anime Analyst, aka the Young Jiggy Ninja. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.